Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to optimize your YouTube videos on your phone. Optimizing your videos is super important for making sure that people can find your content on YouTube. You definitely wanna go through all the steps you can to make your video as searchable as possible. To do this today, you're gonna to need three apps. They're all free. The first one is the YouTube app, which you probably already have on your phone. The second one is the YouTube Studio app. And this is an app that is created by YouTube. It's an official YouTube app. If you're a YouTube creator and you don't have the YouTube Studio app already, you need to download that right away. And the third app is the TubeBuddy app. If you don't know what TubeBuddy is, it is actually a Chrome extension that helps you optimize your videos on YouTube. TubeBuddy is free, but there's also a paid version that gives you a lot more extra features. I definitely recommend the paid version, but definitely you need the free version. I will link to it below so you can check it out. Okay, the first place we're gonna go is that YouTube app. You're gonna hit this plus sign to upload a video and you're gonna open your camera here and I'm just gonna select this random video here. You can edit if you need to, but I'm not going to do that in this case. Let's just hit next. And now we wanna add our details. So right here in the YouTube app, you can add a title. Let's do that right now. And you wanna make sure that your title is really descriptive of what your video is about. The next thing you're going to do is add a description. And you wanna make sure that description is full of keywords that people might use to search for your type of video. So YouTube follows the same kind of guidelines as Google, whereas the title is the most important part of your video and then the description comes after that. But it's really important that you take the time to really think about what keywords should be included in your description and in your title to make sure people can find that video. Now you can just arrow back here once you've added your description. I'm gonna keep this video as unlisted because this video doesn't really have anything to do with my channel. I'm just showing you an example, um, but you can change it to public so anyone can see it, private so that you can share it with people with a direct link, but only those people with that link can find it or schedule it for a future date. You can add your location if that's important and you can add it to different playlists. Once you've done all that, hit that upload button and your video will start uploading. You know it's uploading because this library icon turns blue and it starts sort of moving around. If you click that library uh, button, you can see here the progress of your video. Now that we've uploaded it to YouTube, we can actually do a lot more optimization in that YouTube Studio app. And what we wanna do is hit these three little hamburger bars at the top of the app, go over to videos, and we will see the video we just uploaded. Now you can see I already have my title there. I'm gonna click on it. And here you can see all the information we already added on that YouTube app is already here in YouTube Studio. So we've got our title, we've got our entire description, but here we can do a lot of other things. We can turn the monetization on or off. We can add it to playlists, which we could do in YouTube, but look at this one here, add tags. We can actually add metadata to our video. Just click add tags and start typing away. If you feel like you're learning something from this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now on the desktop version of YouTube Studio, YouTube actually tells us that these tags are not as important as the description or of course the title, but they can be really helpful if you have alternate spellings of things that are keyword terms that you don't wanna put in your description. But there's another reason I really like taking the time to add all of these tags in my videos. And I'm gonna show you why. Let's head on over to the TubeBuddy app so I can show you what these tags really are useful for. Now, once you publish your video, the TubeBuddy app is super helpful with these tags. I'm just gonna select this existing video that has a lot of data already. And once I open it up, hit this tags button here at the bottom. You can see where I'm ranking in search results on YouTube for these particular search terms. This is very, very useful information. 
And even though YouTube tells us that the tags aren't quite as important in searchability as the other ways that you can optimize on YouTube, I think that knowing where you're ranking for specific search terms is invaluable information. And what's great about the TubeBuddy app is that you can edit the tags right here in TubeBuddy just by hitting this blue add button and it will automatically update those tags in the back end of your YouTube video, which is great. They really do talk to each other. So listen, you don't need to have a desktop computer to optimize your YouTube videos. Sometimes I like to upload my videos before I leave the office uh, for the day. And then I will optimize my videos using these tools from the comfort of my couch at home. Definitely makes things convenient and you can update and re-optimize your videos as you go on the fly. You guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you again.